G'day, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee and I am with Chris and Daniel who have a spectacular, beautiful, classic muscle car of the week. What is it guys? It's a 1968 Hemi 4 speed charger. That's right, it's a Hemi. Joe Dirt would be glad to see it. Heck, I'm glad to see it. Check this thing out. You know, for me, there's something about this era of muscle cars that can completely concealed grill. These guys did it. Chevy did it in the Camaros in uh, 67, 68, and then 69. And even some of the, uh, the Chevy Impalas, uh, the Caprices had that, that beautiful hidden headlight front end. I think even Ford did it with the Mercury Cougar. Um, great looking car. This is not, you're not a stranger to Mopar muscle, are you? You've had a few of them before, right? Or I still do. Few. Yeah. Few. Yes. Which is, which is kind of cool. Um, I love the fact that you've got these th these cars and you continue to buy them. Um, how, how many have you got exactly? I've got 10. <laughs> uh, is it an addiction or an obsession? I think it's both. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be as well. So this one, beautiful in blue. Tell me, uh, how long have you owned this one? I owned it for five years. Right. Yeah, we found it, uh, my buddy found it in Alaska and a gentleman passed away and the family decided to sell it and he picked it up and uh, did a full restoration on it for me. I've had it for about five years. I mean, what blows my mind when I think of Alaska, I think of a lot of cold, a lot of wet, a lot of salt on the road. This thing, uh, you know, you wouldn't have expected much body to be left, but you said there wasn't much rust in it when you no, got it. Not much rust at all. Uh, that's cool. And how long ago was the restoration done? 2017 it was finished. Yeah, right. And is this a factory color? It is. Yeah, that that's, makes it even more special. Love the steel wheels and the hoosiers on there as well. Uh, all the interior is all original as well, or been replaced obviously, but it's still the same original look. Uh, and it's a four speed? Yep, four speed. And of course the Hemi that we talked about before. The lines on these things are so imposing. I love the fact that the newer uh, charges, they brought back this scallop side that we can see sort of over here. Um, so the, you know, I, I love the front end, the back end as well. The you, 10 of them, what's your favorite year? Do you have a favorite year? Of the Charger? Yeah, probably 68, yeah. 69. Those round tail lights on that yeah. just look absolutely awesome. It's just such a, a great look when you're following behind it. And of course those rectangular tail pipes as well. Um, I know they came on the car, were they an option or were they uh, the way they all came out like that? Yeah, they were an option. Yeah, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. The colour in the sun just looks absolutely in incredible. Um, so you've got it back to completely stock. You're not obviously going to do anything else to it other than look after it and keep it looking beautiful, correct? That's it. We like bringing them back to their original. Yeah, I think that's great. Even that radio that's in there, uh, it's just so cool. It reminds me of the guy the other day that had the... Uh, it was a 1979 Firebird and he had an A-Track player in it with Rush in it, which is, you know, wow. they're living the whole thing. Hey, let's pop the hood and have a look at some of this, this Hemi magic under here. 426 Hemi, kind of the holy grail of Mopar muscle, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. This is the top dog back in the day for sure. And um, how much horsepower did it have or did they report it? Were they like most of the other manufacturers at the time, they underrated it because they didn't want to get uh, cause problem with the... With the uh, powers to be absolutely yeah for insurance reasons they said that it came with 425 horse and 490 pound feet of torque but everyone that rated these on a dyno got closer to 500 on the horsepower rating and closer to 550 on the torque rating man you listen to that 550 foot pounds of torque more torque than than uh horsepower which is really incredible and i think that was one of the things about the hemi wasn't it because the heads the hemispherical head design they could actually really breathe really well you get a ton of gas ton of fuel uh, air into the thing and it would you get power yeah absolutely and these things would scream up to 7,000 rpm on the track wow. you just wind them out and that's where they were their happiest when you just let them breathe through those two four bell carburetors on the top yeah interesting and and were they doing things like solid cams in these cars as well or were they still hydraulic lifters you know what they changed the hydraulic i believe in 69 68 this will be a this will be a solid cam yeah but i believe they changed in 69 to a hydraulic yeah and and look you can get more power out of it or more reliable power out of a solid cam because you have less light to have valve float because everything has got a direct connection you don't have the lift to have everything to be pumped up with oil pressure but of course the downside of a solid cam is you got to be prepared to get in there and adjust those lifters and and it's literally using a feeler gauge like turning the motor over 
getting it to a position where you've got full clearance on your on your rocker arm and then getting in there with a feeler gauge, right? Oh, absolutely. One of the craziest things about that, just speaking on the reliability factors, that when you bought these things, you only got a 90-day warranty. <laughs> You're actually trying to get away with that. Hey, Hyundai, are you listening to that? You don't need to offer 10-year unlimited mile warranty. You only have to offer a 90-mile warranty. Hey, guys, this is this is absolutely amazing. Um, as I said when I did the walk around before, I'm... I'm not, I don't know a lot about Mopars, I, I'm learning a lot more, but I have a huge respect for them because they were such a significant part of that whole muscle car era. And you know, quite honestly, these guys were pumping up 426 Hemi chargers and, and to really compete with that, you had to have like, you know, 400, 4, 428 uh, Cobra Jet Mustangs or I guess Camaros, you had to have had something with a seriously tough L88 or something in it. So these guys were super cool and super quick at the time. Well, as a very worthy of our Car of the Week winner, you get this Meguiar's complete kit, including the polishing sponge, cleaner wax, scratch remover, uh, car wash, glass cleaner, interior detailer and hot shine foam. Keep this amazing 1968 Charger Hemi in the pristine condition that it's in. Congratulations and thanks so much for bringing it out. Thank you.